Now, where it can start to fall apart in using your database as a queue is something like volume. If you are producing a lot of messages and then you need to consume a lot of messages. So when I was talking about competing consumers, how many consumers are you gonna have? Because you're using a database, you're gonna need to be polling, i.e. making select statements to your database on some interval. Again, how important is processing time? How important is latency, et cetera? So you're gonna be implementing this, and that's the second part of this, more and more features potentially if you start to get out of these simple scenarios. So as you get into more complex scenarios that message brokers provide out of the box, as an example, is also dead letter queues. When you have failures or don't acknowledge, where's that message going? Are you just retrying it because it's staying in that table? Then do you start implementing your own logic to move a record from there to some separate table that represents a dead letter queue? 